Hi there folks and welcome back to another tip for Excel here. Uh, today we're going to learn about how to calculate descriptive statistics in an easier way. Um, so let's jump right into this. Now what, what we have in Excel is a setting that will help us to calculate the skewness, the range, the mean, the standard deviation, the mode, the standard error, the variance, the kurtosis, the median, the minimum, the maximum, and the sum all at once. And we're going to be working out of the data tab today. So here you can see that I have my data set up. I've got month and revenue right here. Now we can do all 12 of these manually, but a simpler way is to use a tool pack that Excel now includes in, in, the, um, in the Excel package. So what we're going to do is um, we're simply going to come up here to our data data tab and we're going to come over here to data analysis we're going to go ahead and click on data analysis and inside of here you'll see that you can calculate ANOVA um, two-factor single factor you can also calculate correlation um, you can look at histograms and just all sorts of options but we're going to use the descriptive statistics uh, tab today so we'll go ahead and select that and we're going to hit OK now you'll see that we're going to get a couple of boxes that will pop up and the first thing that we need to enter is our input range. So we're going to go ahead and delete this as you can see I've been using it. Um, and what you want to do is just click on that little arrow and our input range will be our data array. That's where it's going to grab all the data from. So we want to highlight these boxes with the uh, dollars in it and then we're just simply going to hit enter and Excel will grab that and we want them grouped by columns so we'll leave that alone and then we also want the output range which is where it's going to place our summary of our descriptive statistics and so here um, we don't we no longer have any room there because I use that to tell you what it's going to calculate so we want to click right here and we're just going to select right over here and we'll go ahead and hit enter and so the output range is going to be right there in G3 we obviously want to see the summary so we get all 12 of these descriptive statistics for us to look at in our analysis and we're going to go ahead and hit OK and you'll see that right here we'll pop up with our mean our standard error, our median, our mode, our standard deviation, the sample variance, the kurtosis, the skewness, the range, the minimum, the maximum, the sum, and the count of all of these. Now, if you're going to school, uh, it should be noted that you'll probably have to learn how to calculate these manually. But if you're just looking for a quick way to take a look at um, descriptive statistics, then Excel provides a very easy way to do that, which you just saw here. Don't forget to subscribe to the station. We'll be coming out with more uh, tips and tricks for Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint each and every day. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.